welcome to blame it on the draw sorry you guys that i have not been actually been communicating as much as with you guys and uh shout out to the guy who actually told me that i had 16 cards in my extra deck in my rocket deck profile uh for people who did not see it well yes i had 16 cards without even knowing i'm truly sorry and there's one card there that's not supposed to be there and that's clear weird clear wing synchro dragon which is the least powerful card in there out of my synchro level sevens and i prefer to have cyber's quantum dragon or at least something like fa dawn dragster of course giving myself negations if not a uh, a continuous type of interruption and for the knife of the day we have a big ass cooking knife that's just used for cutting a whole bunch of meat now we're gonna go directly into the box and i hope you guys are gonna, are gonna be loving this because of course the ban list hit us and uh yeah there's a lot to talk about because obviously in the ban list we had something that is beautiful and 100 percent the most best thing ever and sky strikers are basically now not dead they're not dead they're just they're just casual now they're casual decks now we just gotta accept that like Alter Guys and Sky Strikers have had their time and they've been strong enough for a, a bunch of times. The first one you have Hyperia, which is a reptile that can use when it's normal summer or something you can draw. Ooh, Elemental Hero Absolute Zero, very good. Gingerbread House, that's awesome. Reprint right there. And uh, if I'm not mistaken, that's Ultra Rare, from Ultra Rare there. Shadow Skull, uh, Sunning Swarm, that's awesome for the Battle Wasps. Battle Wasps are actually pretty good when it comes to being like casual play. They're actually pretty strong and I'm actually really impressed with them. And they have a lot of support, which is indirect. We're talking about insects in the background and stuff like that. And uh, things like Goki Pole uh, should be used in there. They have Star Stardust Mirage. Shadow Hedgehog, that's a good one. Uh, oh, Herald of the Arc, Arc Light. Now, uh, for those, sh uh, those, uh, oh, Gold Moon Coin, cool. For those people who, for the Herald cards, uh, Battle Wasp Nest, that's for new Battle Wasp. For the Herald cards, uh, usually people uh, use something like uh, the Big Zaborg, the Mega Monarch, and uh, send him to the graveyard and again, the ritual spells. Oh, look at that, the All Eyes pa uh, Phantom Dragon, which, why is such a crappy card? Preda Plant, you have Fortune Fairy and Fortune Fairies are actually really good right now. They're pretty not competitive, they're just, they're just you know, uh, casual. Then we have more Battle Wasp pinned the Bullseye, that's pretty good. And you also have the Destiny Hero uh, Doom something, I don't remember, but he's really good too. And also, it's about time we have him in a Super Rare, Ultra Rare, or even Secret Rare because he's no other rarity but Common and now Ultra. So that's awesome. Yes, for the Necros. Necro Cycle, uh, Vision Hero Witch Raider, and uh, Battle Wasp Azu Azusa the whatever, Shadow Falco. And we have Elemental Hero Stratos, which we, okay, me and, me and uh, my friend here, Michael, we, we were talking about how uh, there were so many Elemental Hero Stratos reprints right here, and in general, that we were saying, how can they make so many reprints for just meeting a level one? Ooh, five headed dragon with a new alternate art. And uh, Shadal Beast. And Battle Wasp Ballistia the Armageddon. And, ooh, that's awesome! Yeah, he's super excited because he actually he's, he's been wanting that card since the first time it was out and he needed it for zombies since now we have a target for Super Poly and Super Poly's at three. Yes, that's awesome. And then of course the Vision Hero Minimum Ray. And uh, yeah, now he actually used a Draco uh, Fusion. That's awesome. Uh, congratulations, my man. Congratulations. And uh, yep, now we have Double Headed Anchor Knuckle. Uh, that's really good support for I think it's like uh, the, the machines what's it called number 26 space we are up to bypass Octo bypass what the hell fortune fairy <laughs> uh, yep now I'm TG drill fish and fortune fairy that's uh, not bad not bad so yeah yeah and direct support for the machines for something like trains and uh, yeah now with the uh, with, we were talking about that about the stratos being at one which so many reprints and then we said you guys gotta be at two or at three so they updated the band list and put it at two number 97 dragulon which is great vision hero garrido and battle wasp you know something i don't know miracle stone really good for the fortune fairies uh summon limit nice summon limit is one of the best cards in there you know what this is the box for him this is 100 percent the box for him because these are literally the cards he's always wanted all the way from the draco one to summon limit and now he's looking for engage of course and who isn't looking for boral sword dragon now this one avenger savior people have been using him for like zombies uh deck profiles and battle wasp dark the hunter and i don't know really how that works, I haven't read the card, but must be cool. Luna Light Crimson Fox and Ultra Rare, Fortune Fairy Sweet, and uh, Battle Wasp Heart of the Charge. 
I actually want to just check out how Battle Wasps work. Battle Wasps looks like a like a pretty spammy, but unfortunately they don't have a link if I'm if I'm not mistaken. Oh look at that. Uninterrupted kaiju slumber. Really good, really good. A part apparition. Okay. Oh, Will of the Settlement Great, which is a common. Uh Settlement Great got hit in the ban list. Vision release and number sixty. Dugaris the Timeless. Now of course uh Settlement Great got hit not that hard, because to be honest, Settlement Great uh, to me, it, it didn't do shit to them. Cause here's the problem. L literally, what happened to them is that you put you put Gazelle at one. Okay, okay. You limited that. You only limited searching. That's all you did. And we limit limiting searching is nothing. You know how much searching this deck does with three sided mining, and just with that circle, TG Metal Skeleton, and then Fortune Fairy, and then we have Battle Boss Ding the Poison, and Fortune Fairy. In. At uh, yeah, so. I just think they didn't do shit to, to, to obviously to Salaman Great. They can't kill Salaman Great, but they were nerfing Salaman Great a little bit just because. Ooh, beautiful secret rear pancake traps. That's expensive. Artifact Scythe, really good card, and that's gonna be continuing on. And then Water of Life. Ooh, that looks like a cool card. I'll check that out later. And then Guardian of Order finally gets a reprint. He's so expensive. The old versions were too expensive. Really good uh, uh, free special summon that's light. It's you control two light monsters. You can special summon him and you can only control one of him in the field. So basically it's a free light level 8 that you can use for XYZ summoning. Which is based on this pack. Which is obviously Dragulon, which requires two level 8 monsters to actually summon him. And uh, yeah, Settlement Grace is gonna keep going. It's gonna be going hard. Uh, and every card that was eliminated, just put like Cyanet Mining in there. Put some more hand traps or some wood traps in general. And ooh, Black Luster Soldier, Soldier of Chaos. Now that's a link three. Oof, Re Re Revival something, uh, Fortune Fairy something, Battle Wop something, and Settlement Great Sanctuary. See, I don't, I don't call them all something. It's just, a f <laughs> it's just a few of them. Not, not all of them. Okay. If I had the chance to call them all something, I would, but I'm not gonna. Yet. So let's go to the next one. Um, the next pack is only we're only halfway there, guys. Let's just hope we get that Boral Sword, Battle Wasp, Hana something, Vision Hero Trinity, beautiful reprint, of course, Ultra Rare, White Dragon Wyvern Buster. Of course, they got hit in the ban list, Wyvern Buster and Collapse Serpent. To put, they put them at one. Uh, Shadow Falco and of course Elemental Hero Stratos. Elemental Hero Stratos is so good that it's been reprinted. And uh, if you guys remember I, where we did the giveaway, we actually uh, gave away, if I'm not mistaken, the secret rare version of it. And uh, it was actually quite expensive, but now the 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 the, the, the price has dropped like crazy. No joke. And we're like, well, you know, uh, we're like uh, thinking what we're gonna do with all these Stratos because uh, we only have like a Vision Hero deck and a Destiny Hero deck. Fortune Fairy Hikari, and unacceptable uh, rebuilt. Uh, Predoplast, oh, Predoplast, the past, whatever, Vision Hero Prisoner, and Summoning Wasp, Summoning Wasp, and, uh, yep, only one, two, three, four, five, uh, blah, 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 blah. one, two, three, four, five, get, get the hands out of the way, let me, let me count them, damn it, you know what, I'm not gonna count them, whatever, so, a few packs left, that's about it, and uh, let's just keep on opening. I think it was taking you forever to open that one. Oh, did Michael just turn white? I think he turned to a white guy. Now, right there, Shadow Hedgehog and uh, Vision Hero Witch. I think it's the lighting. And you have Battle Wasp, I believe the ripened, whatever. Shadow Squamata. Squ Squamata. That sounds like a. Sounds like a, something like a squash. Like a. Mm, I don't know. Something has to do with avocados or something. Gaspachos, Squamata. Ooh! Nice! He got the Dark Sacrifice. That's really good for like a, What's the name of the. Ooh! Magical Musketeer, Link 1. Man, he got literally almost every card he wanted. And we're almost halfway there over the Foolish Burial, beautiful Ultra Rare. And Battle Wasp Nest. And of course, what I was gonna say. Uh, I can't focus right now. I don't know what that one is. But my point is that. um. The first one that he got, the trap, the continuous trap card, or something like that. Uh, that trap card is used in uh, Burning Abyss. Is for Burning Abyss. Is obviously Burning Abyss, even though it's quote unquote a indirect support for like um, things like uh, Evil Swarm or Steel Swarm, even though they don't make sense working there. And we have Vision Hero Vion Secret Rare. Not good, not bad looking. Look, Lucky Lone. Ooh, and that Vision Hero Multiply guy. Hmm, that's actually pretty cool. Luna like Kaleido Chick. Miracle Stone, Kaleido Chick. You know how I remembered how the name is said? Because I've heard it so many times from other people saying it. Because if it was me, I was I was going to call it Kaleido Chick. 
for some reason. Ooh, set up and great Almira, which is now at thirteen dollars or fourteen or so. Or Mira or whatever. Ooh, that's a nice number seventy six. That's a two level seven rank. And of course, Herald of the Arc Light, and once more Guardian of the Order. And they have Gold Moon Coin. And the other X Y the other X Y Z with a rank seven is actually really good. It's actually very versatile. It basically steals from your opponent cards, and depending on what material it has, it has a certain effect. Something like Time 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 Thieves, but in a different way. All right, so one, two, three, four, five, five packs left, none including the one they're about to open. So, yeah, guys, I was gonna say uh, in the mid section, don't forget to hit the like button, make that like button your bitch, and don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe. And uh, I was gonna say, of course, ooh, Cyframe Lord Lambda, Lambda, nice, ten dollar card right there, and another Vision Hero, and you have uh, Apparition, of course, and Vision Release, and you have Battle Wasting something. But uh, yeah, I was gonna say, guys, uh, a lot of deck profiles are coming in, no joke, like three of them. We have four, and now FAs are coming in. So guys, get ready for the FAs, and I have Vision Fusion. That's awesome. Uh, then we have Artifact Scythe. That's a pretty good card, again, like I told you. Uh, Revolver Swarm, and then Fortune Ferret. And then we have TG Drill Fish. Uh, I, I kind of want to make TG too. They, uh, they, it's like basically a battle wasp kind of thing, but it's more like a, aren't they like psychic or machine or spellcaster or something like that? All I know is that some of the TG, like TG Hyper Librarian gives you a lot of draw power like crazy. I'm, I'm pretty impressed that, uh, um, they haven't hit the ban list. And that's Gimmick Puppet Link, uh, the Gimmick Puppet Chimera Doll, if I'm not mistaken. Wow, it doesn't want to focus, so, uh, there you go. Uh, Gimmick Puppet Chimera Doll, that's awesome. And for the rest of them, of course, uh, TG Gear Zombie, really good TG, uh, Water of Life, and you have Shadal Beast, really good one, and Subterra Guru Ult uh, Ultra Rare, and this, it deserves an Ultra Rare, come on, Subterra Guru is literally the card of the Subterra cards, right next to uh, Fiendness, and right next to uh, Hidden City, and I'm still saying that Subterras need more support, so people don't have to rely on the same combos all the damn time. And that's a really old back when I'm talking about, but like, those are really old. Uh, Elemental Hero, and Battle Wasp again, the, the big boy, I forgot the name, Armageddon one, and Will of Sel of the Salomon Great, and Black Dragon Collapse Serpent, that's awesome. Destiny Hero Dog, uh, uh, Dogma is his name, I think it is. Uh, he's the best one, like, I'm talking about, I just hated how he was a common. And they changed into an Ultra Rare, so I'm pretty happy about that. And, uh... Yeah, so let's keep, keep going on. Uh, another Battles of Legends coming up. Uh, we're going to be opening another one, Fortune and Fairy. <clears throat> and we're going to be uh, giving another Ooh, Symbol of Friendship. I didn't know that one was in there. And we have Battle Wasp, uh, Twin Rainbow, uh, and the attack. Twin Bow, the attack. And then we have Battle Wasp, I don't know the rest of the name, uh, Azura, the Ghost Bow. And we have, again, the Reptile in which we shall not be named. And this is the last pack. Can this last pack gives us something like Boral Sword or Engage? Please give us a damn Boral Sword or Engage. Even though, oh, Artifact Lance, yeah, that's not bad. Even though we actually do not care for Engage anymore. TG, um, Exoskeletal, Vision Hero Trinity, and we have Fortune Fairy, whatever, and of course another Vision Hero. So sorry, Michael, that you did not get the uh, Boral Sword nor the Engage, even though you should ignore the Engage now, since Boral Sword is actually the one you got to be focusing now, since, ugh, well, Sky Striker is not going to be the best. Don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe, hit that like button, make that like button, yo, bitch. And stay tuned for another unboxing for Battles of Legends, and stay tuned for not one, not two, not three, but four deck profiles coming in out of nowhere, probably five, and I think it's like three of them is going to be updated, and two of them is going to be brand new deck profiles in there. And this is the overall the best cards we actually found in there that we actually are interested in and we like a lot And uh, I hope you guys like it, too. So I'll see you guys in the next one Peace out Do you remember how you held me then? Now you got me reaching out